What's good, Will Fact? Today is Monday, October 26th. I'm Josiah Edwards. And I'm Isabel Herman, and we're here with your distance learning announcements. Hey, Will Fact, it was pretty chilly outside today. Let's check out the rest of the weather with Isabel. What's up, Will Fact? I'm Isabel Herman, and I'm here with your weather report for the week. On Monday, which is today, it's looking like it's going to be a breezy day with a high of 75 and a low of 44 degrees. For the rest of the week, up until Saturday, we will stay in the high 70s, and for the lows, we will be in the low 40s. On Saturday, we will finally hit 80 degrees and continue until Sunday with a low of 48 degrees. I'm Isabel Herman, and that's this week's weather report. Thanks, Isabel. It looks like it's going to be a pretty average week for today. It seems like politics are turning our country upside down in times like these. I know it is crazy. Take a look at the recent Supreme Court justice hearing with Sammy. There's a vacancy in the Supreme Court due to the tragic passing of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And this void must be filled. Supreme Court justices are appointed by the president and serve for life. Major impactful historical decisions are made at the Supreme Court. Decisions including abortion rights, LGBTQ plus rights, and healthcare policies. Human rights are at stake, so choosing a justice can be very controversial. Now, here is why this Supreme Court nomination is extra controversial. Let's rewind to 2016 when another Supreme Court nomination occurred. And if Ted Cruz or Donald Trump get to be president, they've all asked us not to confirm or take up a selection by President uh, Obama. So if a vacancy occurs in their last year, of their first term, guess what? You will use their words against them. Well, of course, of course, the American people should have a say in the court's direction. It is a president's constitutional right to nominate a Supreme Court justice. If an opening comes in the last year of President Trump's term and the primary process is started, we'll wait to the next election. You're Judiciary. on the record. Yeah. All right. Hold the tape. But now here's the hypocrisy. Now the same Republican Senate is refusing to pause the court nomination, even though the presidential election is just a few weeks away. President Trump has nominated Judge Amy Coney Barrett as the next Supreme Court Justice. Let's take a look into her background. Judge Barrett is 48 years old and went to law school at Notre Dame. She she taught as a professor of law in Notre Dame and has been named Distinguished Professor of the Year three times. But now let's take a look into her stances. Barrett has referred to abortion as always immoral. She has a clear anti-abortion record through multiple anti-abortion law cases she has argued in favor for. She also believes that Title IX, which prohibits sex discrimination in educational programs, should not extend to American transgenders. For healthcare, Barrett argued against the Supreme Court's decision of the Affordable Care Act, which has helped millions of Americans secure healthcare insurance. Barrett is also against all efforts to ensure women to have access to contraceptives under the Affordable Care Act. Now here's an overview of how the hearings have gone. And do you believe that climate change is happening and it's threatening um, the air we breathe and the water we drink? You have asked me a series of questions like, that are completely uncontroversial, like whether COVID-19 is infectious, whether smoking causes cancer, and then trying to analogize that to eliciting an opinion on me that is a very contentious matter. Opinion Think of how you would feel as a gay or lesbian American to hear that you can't answer whether the government can make it a crime for them to have that relationship. You're pushing me to try to violate the judicial canons of ethics and to offer advisory opinions, and I won't do that. Is it, you're not aware of any effort to go back to the good old days of segregation by a legislative body, is that correct? That is correct. Um, what are the five freedoms of the First Amendment? Speech, religion, press, assembly, Speech, press, religion, assembly. I don't know, what am I missing? Read, read. 
Thank you, Sammy. Now, it looks like we're gonna have a couple of announcements. Your book is looking for pictures of you in your costume, your spooky cookies, and all things Halloween this week. They would love to feature all of your spooky season traditions in the yearbook. But to sweeten the pot, they're going to make a contest this week for the spooky cookies. And the prize? Gift card prizes. More info will come this week. <laughs> 